Bad angles can kill your TikTok live, even if your camera's amazing. I'm Manager John, and I am going to show you the perfect placement for your camera, whether it's seated, standing, close-ups, and how to keep eye contact with your camera for the best audience experience. Let's dive in. So for close-up and seated, I really like doing this personal setup here, which is you're gonna have your computer right underneath your camera. Your camera's gonna be just above eye level with a, I would say about a 10 to 15 degree kind of angle down. It'll make for that key light and that, that lighting to really cut your jawline. And it'll give you that clean cut look for your lighting and your audience when you're in a seated position. When you're going to stand up, similar to this, it's just as simple as making a quick adjustment and keeping your camera anywhere from, I would say three to five feet behind you if you're doing a standing setup. This allows your audience to see kind of things around you and allow you to be a little bit more expressive with your hands and your gestures and your performance for your live, which can increase your audience retention substantially. Same angle, same type of vibe that you're going for. Let's switch back over. You have the opportunity to use a larger screen to be able to read your comments, your gifts, your engagement now. You used to have to do everything on your phone, which is a tiny screen. Now you'll be able to not only use your computer, you can set up a completely separate monitor for your audience engagement and the comments that come through as well as the gifts. Because of that, we wanna make sure that our monitors are placed kind of semi near our camera. I like to have mine below like this. A less engaging setup would look a little something like this. Right, I'm talking to the camera, you can see I'm talking to the camera, and I'm looking down and I'm not making eye contact. I look like I have a complete disconnect from my audience. However, when you have this camera placement, you're able to do kind of back and forths between monitoring and watching your audience. I'll either place it directly above my laptop or right along the side to where I'm able to view my screen as well as my audience and flip back and forth between the two. Position matters, even if it's just a small adjustment. So remember to think of that the next time you go and use Live Studio. If you have any comments or you want the gear list, make sure to write a comment below and check out the next video. I'm Manager John and I'll see you around.